everyone. Welcome to Sports Bet TV with me, Paul Alster. It is very good to be here with you. And um, I'm looking forward, as you are, no doubt, to some great racing coming up this weekend, most particularly at Cheltenham, where there's a, an exceptional nine race card subject to the track uh, passing an inspection on Saturday morning. And obviously, we all hope it does because it's going to be trials day and we might get a lot of clues as to uh, what's likely to do well, in particular for the British side of the Cheltenham raiding parties um, coming up in, what, about six weeks' time. So there's a lot on the line, especially having had quite a number of meetings abandoned and a lot of horses and trainers messed about over the last few weeks. It hasn't been easy for them. It hasn't been easy for us as punters either, with a lot of meetings abandoned and so on and so forth. But, of course, our two selections last week... Um, uh, did not run because the meetings were abandoned. So it's been a little while since we've um, had uh, a runner. Uh, if you're new to us, please press the subscribe key just below this screen. My tips are for free. Uh, I have a premium service at uh, Out in Front on Patreon, which you're welcome to check out and consider joining, where I give a more extensive selection of selections at the weekend and going forward into the better time of the year, also midweek selections, and so on and so forth. But my one selection, for you this Saturday is in one of the Cheltenham races, and that is at 3.35. The grade two Ballymore Novices Hurdle is over two and a half miles. And at the time of this recording on Friday afternoon, in a rather overcast Leeds in West Yorkshire, uh, there are 12 runners and the going is soft. Now, this is a, a good race. Um, it's a well-contested race. And um, the market is suggesting that the two horses to the four are likely to be um, Pembroke and Henry the Second. Now Henry the Second is trained by Paul Nichols, and he does rather set the standard. Uh, after his Grade Two win at Sundown in December, the trip and the ground should be absolutely no problem for him. He is penalised, but obviously he's potentially a, a pretty useful horse. Uh, whether that penalty is going to be the difference between victory and defeat for him remains to be seen. Now Pembroke represents the Skelton brothers, who have had a wonderful winter. Their horses have been running well, particularly at all the big meetings on Saturdays. And uh, this Pembroke has won three of his four races under rules. And he did it really well at both uh, Weatherby and Ludlow of late. This, though, in my view, is much tougher. Uh, but he does look a nice horse. But as the uh, current favourite, uh, around 11 to 4 or so, um, there doesn't appear to be a huge amount of value, certainly for those of us that like to play it each way and look for something at uh, bigger odds to give us a run for our money. Another horse that is sure to have plenty of support is the Henry Daly Train Blenkinsop. Now, this horse is on a five-timer, um, and his latest win came at Newbury in a two-and-a-half-mile handicap hurdle. And he won in really good style there, so he's certainly going the right way, but he has gone up eight pounds on the ratings. And um, as a result, now they're trying him out to test him in graded company. We'll know more about how much ability he has and how much improvement there is left. Uh, after the 335 race at Cheltenham on Saturday. Now, amongst the others, you've got Can You Call for Evan Williams, uh, who was one in four when going over fences last season, but uh, was a good winner uh, at Utoxter last time out in heavy ground over two and a half miles in a handicap hurdle of 118. But I think there is more needed. I'll be surprised if that level of form is good enough uh, to win uh, a grade two event such as this. The Dark Horse is a horse called Rock My Way, trained by Sid Hosey, um, a horse who cost uh, £90,000 after he won an Irish point-to-point -point in October. On his rules debut for the yard, he was completely unconsidered at 66-1, to 1, um, and he finished second in the course and distance maiden hurdle on New Year's Day. Um, him and the eventual winner pulled clear, a long way clear of the rest, and that form might be pretty good. Uh, so he's a horse as well to bear in mind, especially if there's a market move for him. But my choice is a horse who at the moment is one of the outsiders of the field. I say at the moment because I, I've lost count of the number of times I tip your horse at big odds and then uh, the money comes for them. Uh, whether it's coincidental or not uh, remains to be seen. I suspect that in recent weeks and months with me not having had the best of runs, it's uh, more coincidental than it used to be. But anyway, Mufasa is trained by Michael Scudamore and is the mount of Luca Morgan. And this horse, a fair fourth on his National Hunt flat debut in October of 2021. He was then off for 11 months, so obviously 
uh, was either got a touch of sore shins or a little bit backward. Uh, and then he won on his hurdles debut at Utoxeter in October, just gone back October the 20th uh, of 22. And then he battled back um, to beat a horse called the Wounded Knee. Uh, and the Wounded Knee uh, was reeled in by Mufasa at Cheltenham over two and a half miles uh, three weeks after uh, Mufasa had won at Utoxeter. And that was a really good effort. He really did have to dig in, though, did Mufasa. Uh, and the wounded knee has gone on to to frank the form. Now after that, Mufasa went off the four to nine favourite for a four runner event at Newcastle, and ran an absolute shocker. He, um, it was too bad to be true. He just was never quite going well, and he lost uh, a ground from two out and came home last of the four. Now it did transpire that he'd lost a shoe, uh, that can make a horse feel a, a little bit unbalanced. But normally it's not much to see them run drastically badly. So I suspect potentially. That third race in a short space of time might have just come a bit quick for him. Now, I'm prepared to give him the benefit of the doubt. And after those two good wins previously, um, if he hadn't have run at Newcastle, he'd be coming here, you know, amongst the, I think, first three or four in the betting. So if we do overlook the Newcastle run, he would have to have a chance. Um, he's also rated 133. And that's the same mark as Henry II, who's one of the market leaders. But he's five times the price. And so I think the value has to be with Mofasa, who currently at the time of this recording is 20 to 1. And the best place offer is for four places with bet 365. Others go three places. So for me, this Saturday in the 335 at Cheltenham, the grade two Ballymore novices hurdle, it's going to be Mofasa each way at 20 to 1 for Michael Scudamore and for Luca Morgan. So that's my choice. Remember to check out what I have to offer at Patreon. But for now, from me, Paul Alster, I'll say... Goodbye and look forward to joining you again next week at a similar time. Fingers crossed that the racing at Cheltenham goes ahead and we see some real star turns being put through their paces. Bye-bye for now.